Hi everyone, so today's video is my Christmas theme pets at home vlog and haul. So I'm just walking into pets at home at the moment and as you can see the first thing that you see is a big selection of dog themed, Christmas themed dog toys and there's a huge, huge selection for dogs in this pets at home anyway. So I'm just currently walking over to the dog products and there's some things, coats and things on the way. So here is the kind of dog treat area and you'll see a lot of Christmas themed stockings and toys for dogs along the aisles. And also as you walk along the dog products uh, we just have here guinea pig cages that are on offer and obviously don't buy guinea pig or rabbit cages for permanent living just for travelling purposes. So this is the kind of dog food area. Some dog bowls on the left there and you can see the Christmas little toys on the way hanging up. And this pets at home, I'm not sure about others, but this one has little tellies like this one here with leaflets and books underneath. And it just gives you some really useful advice and tips and I think it's a really great way to give people some helpful advice on the pet that they're thinking of purchasing or the pet that they currently have. Some more dog food and there's a stocking there. It's a Christmas stocking just there. And here's one of those little tallies again. Get his attention and lure him back next to you. Your puppy must learn that by pulling he gets nowhere. So here's some of the pedigree treats there on the left and some more stockings and this is the dog toys aisle and again a massive selection for dogs and puppies and it's great with puppies because there's a lot of things aimed at training. They have these little cute bags of toys which were just adorable. And training treats are actually the perfect size usually for hamsters and gerbils and rats. big selection of dog toys as you can see. I was actually looking at this Christmas toy for my brother's dog because it seemed like quite a tough toy and a Christmassy themed one too. And here's some of the dog stockings, these are the pets at home stockings. So moving on to the cat products now, this is just the cat food just here on the left and some cat toys just here Christmassy themed ones again we've got stockings and Christmas themed toys they're quite expensive as you can see more cat food now big selection of cat food for some reason and litter trays cat towers and some more stockings by whiskers there and I thought this toy was really really cute it's a cat toy and it's a little robin as you can see there now just onto the cat toys and again useful to look at if there's any plastic jingly toys for like the guinea pigs. They seem to really like them. Some cat toys there and some of the dreamies treats. The gerbils also really enjoy these treats and they're the perfect size too. And some more Christmassy products for cats. So treats and stockings and again these are the pets at home stockings and another toy there. And then some collars up there and down here some more toys and as you can see there the uh, little barrel toy that's where I get the barrel jingly toy for my guinea pigs. And some cat beds just there, really cute ones. More cat food here. And we're getting close now to the small pet area and it's, it's just got useful things around the shop like this here shows you the types of bedding and what they look like and what they're for all cat food again so 
So onto, onto the small pet products, here's just some Christmas products here. You might recognise that stocking from a review that i done. And here's the Woodlands range, and this is one of my favourite range, ranges for small pet products. Some toys and things there. It's not a massive selection of Christmas things, but if you're wanting Christmas things for your small pets, the best place to go is Pets at Home because it's got a good selection, just not a massive selection. Some little Christmas things down there. Again, onto the woodlands just here. And we've got another one of those little tellies, and this one's aimed at rabbits. I just think they're really useful for pet owners. Um, here we've got some hay and shavings and some hutches and runs and last time I filmed a Pets at Home vlog and tour I hadn't actually tried these shavings and they're really expensive and I wouldn't buy them every time I needed to buy shavings but they are fairly good quality and I did quite like them. Still haven't tried any of the hay. I have tried the XL hay but I haven't tried any of the hay so I can't judge on that. But this is what it looks like quite expensive so here's some stockings again we've got root to stack up above and the pets at home one and on the left we've just got some rat and chinchilla cages and here's all the small pet food and they've actually actually discontinued muesli food for rabbits and I think also for guinea pigs now which is really really good and out onto the bird toys and treats and also things that can be useful for small pets such as gerbils and hamsters like the toys and things like the millet there and treats and here's the reptile section not a huge section but I like to look here every now and then in case there's something I fancy buying for Ellie also quite expensive in this area too but again nice quality products especially for smaller reptiles like lizards and things not so much for larger tortoises and now onto the fish products and also the fish another little telly here for the fish got these scattered around the store for every pet near enough and here are the tanks for the fish Here are just some of the fish products. So we've got ornaments on the left there. And we've got some fake plants just there. They also sell a selection of live plants, which is really nice. Gravel down at the bottom there. And here's some different products and tanks. And here's the fish. Here's the beta fish tanks just here. All with filters and heaters, which is really nice. And I particularly like these little fish down at the bottom with the funny eyes. I thought they were really cute. Here's some of the reptiles. We've got snakes and some lizards. And now onto the small pets. So there's just some tired out ratties down there. And a little rabbit. Here's that little rabbit again. He was really cute. Nice friendly little rabbit. And because I went in the evening, the hamsters had all woken up, which was really good because in my last vlog, I don't think I managed to get a video clip of any hamsters awake. So these guys were having fun on their little flying saucer. Chinchillas. And some really cute gerbils. Yeah. 
and in a moment I'm going to show you the little adoption centre that they've got going on which is really good. So here are the two little guinea pigs that need adopting called Laurel and Hardy. So I hope you enjoyed that and now I'm going to move on to the haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of Christmassy themed pets at home vlog and tour of the, you know, the shop or of the store. It was super fun to make. But now I'm going to go move on to the kind of haul items because I did buy a few, few things while I was doing the vlog. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys what I bought. So now going on to the smaller items. There isn't that many but altogether it did come up to about £20. So things do are quite expensive in pets at home but there are good products too. So the first thing I picked up is for the gerbils and I might actually keep this for Christmas. So it's the Woodlands Coconut Hut and if I zoom out a little bit it just looks like this and they haven't had a little house in their cage for a while. They've got loads of houses and loads of things in their playpen and I guess you could call that little bowl they've got, that's kind of house but they haven't had a proper house to put like down in their downstairs level that they can sleep in for ages because I don't see the point buying one when they can destroy it really really quickly so it has to be a really really strong one and I never see any but then I spotted this in my pets at home and it's a coconut house and you can get lots of different versions of these but this one's so thick and um, there you can see how thick it is and I just thought there'd be a bit of a chance that they wouldn't be able to get through it straight away and it would last a little bit and obviously they can still chew it at the same time and it's nice and strong and the thing I like also is that it doesn't have a bottom bit because that's such a, such a pain with small pets because they like to pee in huts and houses and if they've got a bottom then you can't really clean them so it's pretty much perfect and it's by Woodlands also which is one of my favourite pet brands and it was £4 so quite expensive but then looking at the product I guess you it's worth your money and you you know you always get what you buy for really so that was pretty good so I picked that up and hopefully they'll quite like that then I picked up some of the guinea pigs that I haven't had in a while it's just this a um, pack of the mini alpha alpha bales that guinea pigs haven't had these for ages they hardly ever get them and they do have them so they last ages too which is another good thing and also buy woodlands again and these are three pound i just thought i'd pick up a pack seeing as i don't buy them treats that often they don't have many treats so i thought why not i'll get them some of them and they really enjoy them then i picked up something that i haven't seen before in my local pets at home so this Fiddlesticks bridge and it's just the usual Fiddlesticks bridge but it's got all these nice pretty colours so it's got like oranges, red and yellow and I'm not sure if it's a Christmassy themed toy and they've brought it out because of Christmas because I guess you know, it's kind of Christmassy colours but I thought it was really really cute and it's hard with gerbils to decorate the cage nice and colourful because most colourful things are plastic or have pieces of plastic on so it's really hard to find natural colourful things uh, or they can be, if the colourful things, if they are colourful they're, they're really thin so it's really hard to find something like this in my area anyway that's colourful and thick so I picked that up straight away because I want to brighten up the cage a little bit more for Christmas so I thought that would be really really nice to do that and they really like these bridges too so that's always a good thing and that was £3 also so I thought why not it's pretty good and it's really nice and bright and pretty so the last item that I picked up is one of these so it's the Christmas stocking and I think this is the actual pets at home version of their own stocking because you can get rotor stack ones and pet brand ones and there's a few different others but I think this is actually pets at home's own one and I really like the content it's super expensive £6.50 but I actually bought this for a reason so 
this will be included in a later video that I'll be doing especially on this product so keep an eye out for that so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up and see what I think of it and see what the pets think of it so I mean that's super expensive but I suppose the contents you can use for all small pets so in that sense it's quite good so that's the last item that I've so that's done with this pets at home vlog tour and haul and I hope you guys enjoyed it it was super fun to make so I hope you had fun watching it too and if you want to see my older version of the pets at home vlog and haul which was done kind of summery time then just click the screen right now and it'll take you there but thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this Christmassy style video and happy Christmas to everyone and I hope you have an, an amazing Christmas holiday. Bye everyone.